Okay, we just followed this road just right over this little hump. We're probably a thousand feet from the mine complex. But look what we came upon. Probably the owner of the mine and his wife more than likely lived here. Again, I apologize, the wind is really starting to come up again. But look at the beautiful rock work in this house. And you can tell that it was a rock work with cement plastered on the inside. Then two by two by twos, two by fours on the walls. So it was uh, definitely framed. Might have been insulated. <laughs> Had windows. Oh, can you imagine? Waking up in the morning. Wait. To this view. There's my daughter Whitney and Guppy. I mean, starting your day off, looking out over Yay. all this area. <laughs> Very beautiful. What? Oh. Now we're going to walk around the rest of this building. No, you can't go to that window, ma'am. There's too many nails. You can go to that window. You have plumbing. Okay, this is probably the back wall. And I'm saying this is probably the kitchen. They had a water pipe going up. Probably had a bowl they kept there for a sink. They had the opening for a wood stove. Okay, this was their dump area. A lot of broken glass. A lot of newer bottles. And when I say newer, I'm talking glass from the 50s, 60s, and jars. Look at all the mason jar lids and rings. But none of them are purple. I see actually no purple glass here. Now when you're looking at glass, that has a lot to do with your age. Now if you find milk glass, a lot of times that was uh, face cream. The wives had to have their cream. Mason jars would have been what they were canning and storing their food in. Crocs, like that one there. That would have been used for storage. Either dry goods, sauerkraut, cabbage. A lot of old tin cans. Okay, you have a unique can right there. It's got that bump in the bottom. 
Got a lot of them. So somebody liked cream in their coffee. That's uh, canned milk cans. You see green glass. You see bluish tinted glass. And you know that they date back around the 50s. Okay. Now I did not see any indoors plumbing on this place. And here is why. That would have been the outhouse. And if you look, you stand at the outhouse, and there's a perfect trail going to the house. So they had outside plumbing here. Now, if you are a true, really good glass bottle collector, you'd probably dig that up. As horrible as it sounds, that's where you find your most intact old bottles. I don't know if you can see over there or not, there's a lot of barrel cactus out here. A beautiful spot. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, unless I find something more, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Shadow Mountain Mine Complex, Shadow Mountains, Kingston Valley area, in the middle of nowhere. Okay, everybody, have a great day, and thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. We're pushing a drive to get more people to subscribe to the channel. We're hitting, shooting for a number 1,000 subscribers right now. As soon as they hit 1,000 subscribers, we are going to have a fantastic giveaway. And probably have four or five items. And most of it will have to do with exploring. Stuff that you need, stuff that you might want. Probably do some gift certificates, gift cards. By the way, uh, this is not sponsored by REI. But I buy most of my equipment, hiking, camping, supplies through REI. I have people who say, oh yeah, they're expensive. Well... Yes, they are a little expensive, but the one thing is, is I got a year to decide if I like the item or not. I can use it for a year, and if I don't feel it's meeting the needs of what we're doing, I can take it back and get my money back. And you get dividends at the end of the year that you can spend. So they are a great company in that aspect. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Windy Bill, we're out exploring, finding some more. This is our second day out in this mountain range.